option right here, 2 Samuel chapter 21 is where we're at. We're going to begin reading in verse 15. It says in 2 Samuel chapter 21 in verse 15, Moreover, the Philistines had yet war again with Israel. And David went down and his servants with him and fought against the Philistines. And David waxed faint. And ish which was of the sons of the giant, the weight of whose spear weighed 300 shekels of brass in weight, he being girded with a new sword, thought to have slain David. But Abishai, the son of Zeriah, succored him and smote the Philistine and killed him. Then the men of David swear unto him, saying, Thou shalt go no more out with us to battle, that thou quench not the light of Israel. You know, there are many things that we think of when we hear certain sounds. Sounds bring back memories. For me, that is, anyways. I'm not so sure how it is for you. But uh, there, there are good memories that it brings back. For instance, when, you, when I walk out of the dorms in the morning to go to class... I don't know what birds they are. They've got like big bodies and these long little legs. I call them sandpipers. I'm not so sure if that's what they are or not. But they sound like the sandpipers back on the beaches that I used to fish with my, with my grandfather going out of the Indian River Inlet. And that brings back good memories. But, you know, sounds also bring back bad memories. For instance, I'll never forget sitting Wednesday morning, 7 a.m., my first class about two semesters ago. And then all of a sudden you hear Child's Hall's door open. You know that creak it makes? Scream! So you hear that, and all of a sudden you hear, you know Mr. Henke's coming to give you a Greek test. Brought back really bad memories. But you know, there's... For me, the Greek preposition has basically chased me out of that class. 